Now I'm going to show you how to freshen up a plush. All right, Bolo Buddies, I am going to give credit to Donatella Bottolino for this trick. Uh, check her out on YouTube. She is also Donatella over on Whatnot, and she does sell plush on Whatnot, but she sells everything on Whatnot. So one thing that a lot of times when you get plush, it is really matted or just looks like, you know, this. It looks like this. So she said to get a dog brush, and I think she uses a bigger one, but I got this in, um, I think at the Goodwill Bins, and I've used it on a couple stuffed animals. That's stuffed animal hair. And I'm gonna show you, are you ready? So you're gonna take this, and you're just gonna go like this, and you are going to refresh the fuzz of this monkey just by brushing it with this dog brush. So look. He's all fuzzy again. Is that incredible? So then you just wanna kinda of go over all the areas. I mean, you have to decide, is this worth your time? How much is this stuffed animal worth? Um, but yeah, look how good this looks. And it's so quick. And then you can do its hair. And if you get it all fuzzed out, he's all ready for his photo. Had a plastic bag fall on my head. So yeah, this is a great, great reseller tip that I never ever would have thought of. So thank you to Donatella for teaching us these great little skills for plush because before she did YouTube and um, whatnot, she sold on eBay. And one of the main things she sold was plush and she was like a firm believer in getting that fur looking all good so I'm gonna get him all brushed out and then I'm gonna come back and show you what he looks like unless you guys just want to sit here and watch me I mean I guess you could whoa check him out I mean it's not that hard does it take a minute sure it takes a minute and I'm kind of at a weird angle because I'm recording but you can go up and down but it just gets all that matted together plush and makes it nice and fluffy again. So this is a uh, K&M International from 1999. So it is a vintage plush. So, you know, that's kind of to be expected. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna put this on eBay or if I'm gonna put this in my whatnot store. So you can check both of those. If you guys are not on whatnot yet, you can use my link down below and get $15 to shop. And just buy something. It's a referral link and it's free money. And whatnot is so fun. So definitely check it out. We're getting close here does take some time. Oh, I missed an arm. I missed an arm. Here, look, this arm. So let's look at the two arms beside each other. Look how much better that looks. You got ratty arm, ratty, fluffy. It's so awesome. And it's so easy. And it works so good. And then, you know, you obviously have to clean your brush. And then you just keep on keeping. So you can also lay it down. That might be easier than holding it. I was just holding it to try to show you guys. But this is actually a little bit quicker if you flatten it out and brush them out like that. You just get all the little spots, all right? So let's sit him here like this. I wish I would have taken a picture of before and after. He's so cute! And he's got the little hook and loop on his hands and his feet so you can wrap him right around your neck. Isn't he adorable? Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh my goodness, he looks so cute. Isn't he adorable? Look at his little face. And he's hanging on to me. He's hanging on. And then his feet Velcro or hook and loop. If you're on eBay, do not use the word Velcro. You use the word hook and loop. Um, you will get a policy violation, uh, Vero, copyright. I don't know. It's not a copyright. What's it called? Um, trademark? Is that what it is? But you cannot use the word Velcro because this is not Velcro brand, this toy. Um, so Velcro is a brand. 
But anyway, look how good this monkey turned out. Tell me if you knew about this tip and are you going to implement it in your reselling business? Oh my goodness, so cute. Look at him. And again, he's either gonna be in my eBay store or on my whatnot. I haven't quite decided where I'm gonna put him yet, but he is adorable. I'm thinking I might put him over in my whatnot, buy it now for a really good deal for you guys. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have officially decided this guy is going to whatnot. I'm gonna list him over in my buy it now section for $5. He's vintage 1999. He's a little cutie. So somebody go snag him up. If you wait until I'm live doing a live show, you will get discounted shipping if you purchase anything from my Buy It Now during a live show. So that's something to consider. Also, you could wait, but he may be gone. <laughs> and maybe he won't. Who knows? Maybe you guys won't love him as much as I do. But I think he is a cutie pie. All right, you guys. So definitely, if you're thinking about selling on Whatnot, get on that calendar ASAP. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks so much for being here and thanks for watching.